Okay, so this is the inside of a circuit breaker. Here's the lever to turn it on and off. This mechanism right here is the thermal one that I believe used by, by metallic to click off um, the uh, circuit, to trip the circuit breaker. So right here are the contacts that actually make the, uh, break the uh, connection. This, this lug here would be connected to the power inside the electrical panel. And then the screw right here is where the wire is attached to go out to your uh, well, light switch or your receptacle. So when we click this off, watch what happens. This, will, this connection right here will open up. So it'll pop out too. So right here and right here is what makes the connections. So re reset it and makes a connection. I'm gonna hold it. Parts are falling out. Open. That's manually. If um, it's overloaded by uh, circuit overload, got too much current going through here. This thing expands, moves, and watch as this moves back. This is gonna click off. See how it's clicked off? Now what you might notice is the switch itself is only halfway back. If you see a switch that's halfway back, you know it's been clicked off. And inside this little view thing in some breakers, you'll have a red mark indicating that it, it's tripped. To reset it, you have to go all the way off. And then, oops, coming apart, wait a sec. And then forward, oh, too late, I broke it. Uh, Anyhow, if it was together, it wouldn't break on you. But that's how it works. So this is like taking apart a little clock. Once you break it, you can't get it together. I've got this back. I could probably click it off, but the contacts aren't connecting. So it's good and broken. And now we have other stuff flying all over the place. Well, that's the fun we have here, home inspectors, and um, looking inside of a breaker. Hi, what I want to talk to you about is, this is a main 200 amp panel that's been damaged by water. Looking at it, you can hardly see there's any damage. There's a little bit of oxidation on here. This is the front that you'll see. A little bit of oxidation here, and that's it. Uh, we had to actually drill out the uh, lugs here to, to take the thing apart. But that's what we have. If we look on the back of it, which you wouldn't be able to see until the breaker's out. Okay, so there's all kinds of rust in here. And if we look closely at it, along the edge here, underneath, see the brown marks? That's where water had come through the breaker itself. And um, so let's cut this one open and see what's going on inside. Okay, so we're set up to drill this out. Let's uh, put a little light on it. And uh, there's four rivets in this one. I'll drill them and then we'll take a look inside, see what's going on. So, we had a heck of a time getting the rivets out. I ended up having to use a multi-tool and cut through here because the rivets, you try to drill them, they keep twisting. So, let's take this apart and see what we've got inside. You notice that it's not hermetically sealed or anything right across here. So, water can get in and stuff. And it looks like what it's done. See the rust inside there? Let me get a little brighter light on that. Okay, look at all the rust on the components inside. There's, um, you see these things are rusted. This is corroded. Um, this failed, this particular one, look at the rust down inside here. This particular one uh, failed in the off position. My nephew turned it off, it would not turn back on. So when we see 
a breaker that has some water marks on the outside. That's why we call it out. There's a lot of corrosion inside. You can't see much of anything from the outside. All we saw on here were a little bit of oxidation here before it drilled out the lugs. And uh, so that's why when we call out, it's so important not only to replace the breakers, but to destroy the breakers that are taken out so no one else uses them. So we can see rust inside the breaker quite a bit over in here, along here, here, here. There's uh, look at the side of this. So this breaker is completely destroyed. I don't know if you can see down inside. There's some stuff inside that's really corroded. Let's see if I can get the light on it right there. See that? Brown thing? That wasn't brown before. That's oxidized, oxidized iron. So, I hope this was helpful and educational. Have a great day. This video was brought to you by Finn Home Inspectors, servicing the Berkshire County area for over 37 years. If you need a superb home inspection, give us a call at 413-684-2019. Thank you.